Hi friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video I will show you how to create this textured lighting effect inside of Blender. In this case we'll be using it to light a product. So I've got a box here with a little bit of a label. You can use this to light any other objects that you would like. And I can put up some examples on the screen of things that look good with a textured light. If you're new or an intermediate user of Blender, chances are you don't know all the shortcuts and you're going into menus constantly to use the tools that you want to use. So I've put together a hotkey PDF so you can pick and choose the shortcuts you use day to day and implement them to help speed up your workflow inside of Blender. You can download this PDF down below for free at the link in the description. Let's move on to the video. All right, so in Blender, I'm going to delete this one here. So this area light, let's delete it. And we have to use an area light to set this up. First of all, you'll notice that I've already got some lighting set up for this. So I've got a world light here, which is just a HDRI. And the strength is set to 0.1. And then I've also got over here a point light. And so what I want to do is add in an area light so I can go shift A and we'll come down to the lights. And then once that's added in, I can bring this up a little bit and we want to use our node. So, so in the shader editor, what I can do is just check use nodes. And now we can set up our light here. And so there's a few things we have to do. We have to find a light texture easiest thing to do is just find an image of some shadows or plants or whatever texture you would like so i just went to pixels.com and it's a free stock image site i just got this image here so i'll just open it up this one here and i'm going to use that here so i'm just going to plug it in to my strength and then what I can do here is I also want to add in another one. So I'll go shift A and I'll just search for geometry. We want to grab this one parametric and we'll plug that into the vector. So now I can start playing around with the power. So I'm just going to put this up to about 25 watts. And another issue here is our spread is so high that we can't see the actual texture. So what I'll do now, drop this down to one or two degrees. There you go. We've got a little bit of a texture coming in. A few things, we need to adjust the lights here. So if I just drag these over, shift A and we'll add in a color ramp. Drop that one in there. Now what I can do is just crunch the blacks and the whites together, something like that. Now I can start to shape this light. So up in our 3D viewport, I can press S and X to scale this. Maybe I'm going to keep it thin and we'll scale it in the Y direction. And now I want to rotate around the 3D cursor. So first of all, if your 3D cursor isn't in the center, we can go shift S and it's somewhere here. Cursor to world origin there. And I'll put the 3D cursor in the center. Now, if we just press our period key, you can see here, I can rotate around an object. And so I'll go 3D cursor option is also up in here come down click that to 3d cursor now what i can do is rotate on the x and we'll go g z move this up a little bit i'll move this back so i can just press g and double press the z key to move it back on the axes which is the local axes of the shape I'm going to just rotate this around a little bit. Move this down. Move this into position. And I'm going to crunch this a little bit more. 
So I'll have a look at the shapes. Let's change the degrees down to one. A little bit of a harsher shadow. We could also drop the strength down to 15. And you can keep playing around with this. If I just press my period key and go to median point, I can scale this on X. Something like that. Give this down a bit so that the shadow's a little bit more over. Let's go back up to 2 so that it's a little bit faded. And we could give that a render now. I'll just pause this one here. Render, render image. Usually I'd save before I render just in case something goes wrong. So right off the bat, I think I want to brighten this up a little bit. So I'm just going to cancel the render. I'm also going to move light a little bit. Turn it back on. Scale on DX. We'll go back up to 20 watts, maybe a bit higher, 25. Give a save, I'll just pause this and we can render out our image. And then once that's rendered out, you can save it where you would like. All right, so that's a bit of a quick tutorial. I hope this has found helpful. It's a really quick and easy way to add a bit of texture to your lighting, a little bit of interest and it's pretty easy to do. Some other things I've put in here is a catch light for the metallic that I've got in here, or the foil. So that just gives us a little bit of extra lighting. So if I zoom in here, you can see some of these letters here need a bit of a catch. So if we turn this off, it creates a really dull image. So we just put in a little bit of a point light and I just, Move this around until it's reflecting with the camera. Looks nice. And I've also got that world texture. If you have any questions, drop them below. And until next time, I'll see you later.